How do you view your circumstances, good or bad? Through your eyes or through God's eyes? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. A camera is an optical instrument used to record images. Cameras, much like real eyes, do not need lens to capture an image per se. But to get a high resolution, detailed image, you need the added lens. Why? Because the power is in the lens. So let us view our lives in this aspect, us, the camera, and God, the lens we look through. Life looks very different when you look at it through God's eyes. If you look to God for everything, the good times get better and the bad times are not so bad. If we learn to look at our life and people through God's eyes, things could change. The circumstances may remain, but your perspective would change because then you would see it differently. The added lens would allow us to view them through God's perspective and he knows the plans that he has for our lives. A good camera lens will capture sharp images with plenty of detail and contrast, while a poor one can leave your images looking dull and blurry. Are you looking at yourself through your own lens? Or are you looking at yourself through God's eyes? Ask yourself this, how does God see me? His lens is so deep that it does, he does not look at the outside. He looks at the heart. He sees your strength. He sees your weaknesses, your faith, and your doubts. He sees your righteousness, and he sees your sins. When he looks at you, he sees the soul he died on the cross to set free, to be able to live again. He is calling you, come. All ye that labored and are heavy laden, he will give you rest. When you look at, when we look at ourselves through his eyes, it should reveal to us the state of our heart, the messes and the sin we need to clean up, recognizing that he is a forgiven God and repent before him. We should recognize that I am a new creation in him. His grace is sufficient for me. I am righteous and holy because he is holy, that he is my redeemer, my strength, and my song. The same way that the picture changes when you add the lens to the camera, it is the same way our views, or let's say our perspective would change if we view our circumstances through God's lens. When the king in Aram, at the king Aram, he attempted to capture the prophet Elisha. Elisha's servant was fearful because all he saw was that they were surrounded by the adversary, by horses and chariots of the king. And the young man was sore afraid and asked Elijah, what should we do? And in 2 Kings 6, this is what Elijah said. He said, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Can you see God surrounding you? Or are you only seeing the storms of life? In verse 17, Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. The camera lens allowed the camera lens allows us to focus on the image and has the power to blur out the backgrounds. Elijah saw through God's lens, so he knew not to be afraid. His focus was not on the horses and the chariots that were that came upon that came against him. His focus was on the horses and the chariots that were for him. Can you see your situation through God's eyes, through his lens? Can you see him working in your life and hear him saying to you, 
Be thou not afraid, trust in me. So how do we do it? How do we look at life through God's eyes? First, it will require a relationship with God, one of repentance, giving up a life of sin, and living according to God's will. We must also have faith in Him, spend time with Him through prayer and by reading His Word. Get to know Him in a deeper, more personal way so that you can see through His lens. Right now, you might be going through a difficult time. You can't see you can't seem to find your way. However you look at the situation, it's just bad. But I want to encourage you that when you can look at your situation through God's lens, you can find peace in chaos, light in darkness, and joy in the midst of sadness. Guys, be encouraged in the Lord today. Look at your life, your situation, and other people through his lens. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.